Hey, it's Yarsi, and I'm going to have a look at the 10k event that just finished over in Auckland. It seems like it was a very balanced meta. Most people lean towards either playing Brute or Warrior, as I kind of guessed as far as Warrior goes. I didn't expect to see as many Brutes, while Bravo was the least played during Sealed. To me, this was really odd. I expected a lot less diversity when it came to all the leaders. Though when you look at the top 8 tables, it definitely shows a massive divide between all the leaders. Dorithia taking 7 places, Bravo taking 6, Reinar taking 2, and then Katsu taking 1. I don't think this is a proper representation of how these leaders are. I just believe that's these are the leaders that the better players chose to play which I guess you could also say states what is really good and what is bad. Because the top 8 played draft rather than playing sealed, we did get a representation of the top 8 as far as the draft goes, but we didn't get to see their decks. Though with the sealed, we did get to see their decks, but I do believe that it was just Swiss for the, for the entire event, and then the top 8 goes into draft. I've picked out some key decks of the better players that topped 8, one from each class so you can kind of understand how you should be building your deck and what to run with it as well. So Gary Lynch who played Bravo ended up coming in 5th with 6 wins. It looks like he ended up pulling around 4 auras that he could put into his deck, 2 of them being Blessing of Deliverance which are both rare cards so it was a very good idea to go with Bravo after seeing those 2 cards. It looks like he only pulled 1 staunch response and he played around 8 aggressive guardian attacks along with that. As far as the generics, I'm not going to go over as far as the generics, I'm not going to go over every single one, though he did open a drone of brutality, which can come in clutch, especially if you're playing Guardian. A lot of the Guardian builds that have been seen within Sealed have mainly been decks that force fatigue and puts your opponent in that position where they either need to push for as much damage as they can or play the fatigue game with you as well. Gary stacked his deck with Nimble Strikes, which is a very strong card. A massive regurgitating slog and slogism package as well. In total, he played four defense reactions, which I think is a decent number, especially with how many warrior plays there were. And picking up both Razor Reflex and Pummel as well. He had a very decent Armory with Goliath Gauntlet, Heart and Cross Strap, Helm of Eyes and Peak, and both Iron Rot Gauntlet and Leggings as well. Isaac, who ended up coming first in Draft and then also first in Sealed as well, he played Warrior during Sealed. It seems that he didn't play as many attack reactions as I thought a Warrior would play. He only ended up playing about 5 as far as the Warrior ones go, and rather stacking his deck with a lot more kind of action buffs for their weapon. Though picking up 2 overpower was very strong because these cards are rares. It looks like Isaac went with the slogism package and he did play 2 regurgitating slog which I think is the right amount that you should be playing it at. Though I can definitely see how Isaac may have just went with the slogism package so he could push bigger attacks rather than just using it for regurgitating slog. He did pick up a potion however which I think is a very good option to go with if you are going to be versing your guardian deck as they may build up a stonewall confidence you can just slap this on the field and then they basically just wasted their entire turn using an aura. Isaac was lucky enough to open a bunch of iron rot and then refraction bolters on the top. Jazin Long played Katsu and it looks like it was a very standard list. A bunch of surging strikes, a bunch of open the center. Though he only opened one head jab, which I feel like could have been his downfall. If he maybe played a bit more head jabs, then he may have been able to get a bit more open the centers off. Though if you look at his generics, he's really stacked his deck with a bunch of really small attacks, along with nimbleism, and with a card that I didn't rarely see play, which is Scale of the Battlescape. This is definitely a card that I'm going to look into a, lo a lot more when I play Ninja or Versing Ninja, as this can generate a bunch of value. And then finishing it off with a few big attacks like Wounded Bull and Wounding Blow. Unfortunately, he didn't open the Break Scalers. Though he did have Snapdragon Scalers, which is, I guess, probably about the same. And then you have Sasha, who is Marco Victory. If you don't know him, definitely check out all of his content that he's been bringing out on his articles. He ended up playing Reinar. Now, Reinar is a really weird 
option and I really commend Sasha for going in and playing Reiner and coming out this strong. He didn't really play a massive list as far as the brute cards go. Not a lot of the barraging beatdowns or the primeval belows, only a handful. But it really looks like it's the generic cards that really took over how he played his deck. Looks like he did open that drone of brutality so he was able to play a more defensive deck so he can survive in fatigue. He had a small slogism package which could be for finishing games and then also a bunch of smaller attacks like raging onslaught for his snapdragon scalers to be able to crack off. And then to finish it off with three attack reaction cards, one pummel and two razor reflex which I believe are definitely some of the reasons why he would have been able to win some of those games. He had Barkbone Strapping, Hope's, Hope Merchant's Hood, Iron Rot Leggings, and then Snapdragon Scalers as well. So he was able to have a decent enough list to go up against most decks. That's it for the breakdown as far as the top players go. Unfortunately, there aren't any other lists or anything that I can go through that have been announced so far. I'm really keen for the Sydney event. And sorry if this video seems a little bit off, I am recording this at 1am right now. That's it for the video guys, I'll have another video out this week and I'll see you in the next video.